Games Workshop really is going quite heavy on the new model reveals, and they've just unveiled the new Grey Knights miniature, an upscaled version of Castell and Chrome. Hello and welcome back to Warsbets Tactics, where today we're just taking a look at Castell and Crow's very nice new miniature, another Space Marine character that's escaping from resin. We already knew that this guy was coming, he's been billed to be coming out alongside the Grey Knights and Thousand Suns release for quite a while now, though there's no confirmed release date as to when those codexes are dropping. The previous version of Castell and Crow was slightly showing his age, I think, definitely a lot smaller and hunched over in posture. And while he still looked fine, you could very much tell that he was a model from a previous age. This new miniature does seem to be slightly bigger. There's a lot more fancy demonic flame effects on that blade of Antwerp that he wields. But otherwise, the look and feel of the model feels very similar. The heraldry is almost exactly the same. He's just got a bit more of an open and dynamic posture. And like many characters, he's acquired himself a nice tactical rock with some chaos bits to stand on. He does have the option of having a helmeted or bare head, something that Games Workshop have done really well with most of their character releases recently. But perhaps the single most interesting thing about this miniature is that it doesn't seem to be a Primaris one. I'm not sure if we are going to be getting Primaris Space Marine Grey Knights at some point, but judging by the power pack on his backpack, it doesn't look like this is a new Primaris at all. Just maybe a slightly bigger and bulkier version of the same character. I guess we'll have to hear if there is any new lore about Grey Knights getting Primaris in any way but I sort of feel like they would have mentioned it in the preview article, and they didn't. Otherwise, we know that this guy's going to be coming alongside the Grey Knight and Thousand Sons Codex, initially released in a big value box set, where you'll be able to get some of the miniatures at a discount, and facing off against a new Thousand Sons character called an Infernal Master, which a lot of people seem to be rumouring as a new Thousand Sons style of Master of Possession. In the lore, Castell and Crow is the head of the Purifiers, and thought to be, if anything, the most incorruptible of all the incorruptible Grey Knights. For this reason, he has been entrusted with the Wardenship of the Blade of Antwerp, a relic of devastating power that the Grey Knights deemed was too dangerous to destroy for fear of releasing the demon that was bound within it, and that ultimately causing more problems as it finds a new host, or if it ever managed to get back into real space. In previous editions of the rules, despite for carrying this very, very fancy-looking warp sword, Castell and Crow has essentially never been able to use it. It's part of the background that essentially he has this access to this enormously powerful combat weapon, but because he never harnesses any of its power, it's essentially counted as a normal close combat weapon for the last couple of editions of the rules. They haven't really given us any sort of massive preview for the rules, but they did state that the Blade of Antwerp will be deadlier than ever. Maybe this actually means that they are actually going to allow him to use it with some power. As to be honest, it has always been a little bit unsatisfying watching a guy carry around an absolutely enormous demon sword, and then just have him hit like a complete wet noodle in close combat. Maybe they might be looking to play down that bit of the lore, or even just say that it's still very powerful when it hits the enemies, even if he's not channeling the demon within it to its full effect. In any case, really quite a nice looking new miniature, and it's quite nice to see the Grey Knights get a little bit more love. They've not really had anything massively significant since Grandmaster Voldus, and that was back before 8th edition came out. Let me know what you think of the model down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, then feel free to subscribe to the channel, I'll certainly cover any rules previews that we get for him, and review the Grey Knights Codex rules in full once it's out. Finally, if you'd like to help support the channel, I would just like to mention the Allspets Tactics Patreon page, which you can find down in the video description. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things happen next on the channel, and automatic entry to the prize giveaways, with a chance to win some big model kits each month. When the big box is out, I'll hopefully be looking to give that away as one of the giveaways. In any case, if you're interested in any of that, feel free to check out the link down in the video description. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.